All right, now we're doing 7Q, currying functions, multiply all elements in an array. This is by LimeyB7, and 93% uh, of the people like it. Uh, to complete this kata, we need to make a function, multiply all, which takes an array of integers as an argument. This function must return another function, which takes a single integer as an argument and returns a new array. The returned array should consist of each of the elements from the first array multiplied by the integer. So we're going to have multiply all, and then we're going to, here's the first uh, thing we're going to use, the first argument, and then here's the second argument, and it's going to come out like thus, all right? And we must not mutate the original array. So basically, this one's going to be using this uh, currying technique, uh, which is the first time I've seen it. So in uh, mathematics or computer science, uh, currying is the technique of converting a function that takes multiple arguments into a sequence of functions that each takes a single argument, all right? So instead of the normal way that we do it, which would be like this, it's going to be something like this here, where it goes function A, and then it'll do another function with B, and then another function with C, something like that. Uh, we can read all about it if we want, if we want. Anyway, so uh, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to start off instead of doing it this way which would be like uh function uh multiply all where we'd have a uh, like array and multiplier multiplier something like that instead of doing it like that we're going to just do array first and then we're going to say return uh, function and then we're going to say multiplier just like that so it's just it's it's not like we're doing anything different we're just making it look different for, for whatever reason I'm sure if we go into this whole Wikipedia it'll tell us exactly why we would like to do this sometimes uh, but as an introduction let's just knock this out so for now that we've got this set up, uh, we're going to use this map method, which uh, creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So like here, we're saying uh, array dot one, excuse me, array one dot map, and then we're going to have x uh, arrow and then x times two. We're just going to multiply every element by two. So one four nine sixteen are going to turn into two eight eighteen and thirty two. And the syntax we use is map. Then we have element here, a uh, arrow, and then the expression, all right? So let's do that. We're going to say uh, return array dot map, and then we're going to say uh, element, element, and then we're going to say uh, element times the multiplier. And hopefully this works. Let's see. Test it out. All right, good. Attempt it. And there we go. Submit it. I mean, this is just an introduction for us. Uh, we'll get better as time goes on, uh, but at least we're getting familiar with it. So very much like this one. As you see on this one, they're doing it in concise syntax. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, this is the... Uh, whatever we did. What did we do? Array. Here's the array and then the element, and then they do the map here. Same here, same thing here, array, element. So yeah, this is the array multiplier, and then they do the map here, so array multiplier. That's what I meant to say if I didn't. And then this is the one we did right here. Uh, so let's go to mine. Uh, just the few of us right here. Best practice, in my opinion. Very much liked it already, and we'll see you next time.